Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, All in Andy coming to you from Las Vegas. Um, a few sessions back, there was some interest in learning about um, InShot and how to create word overlays. And if you don't want to just keep using the standard, um, you know, Facebook wording and you know, picking up your uh, your words as you're speaking in the video, I just wanted to show you how to be a little bit more creative with it. It also does. Uh, just know that this process is a bit more time consuming, but I wanted to make sure that you had this in your arsenal if you wanted to check it out. So first things first, I'm in InShot. Just know that I am in InShot Pro and um, I, I think it's about 10 bucks for the year, something like that. So you would need, uh, you could probably do this without having InShot Pro, but it definitely helps. Um, first things first, I just wanna make sure that everyone knows what you need to do is you need to make certain that the first thing you do is you have an all white background. So just go type in all white background. If I can type here. And um, you, you can do the transparent one for our intents and purposes. This one should work. So what you're going to do is just go to an all white background and then just, you know, save that, add it to your photos. You want to make sure that you have that in your toolbox. Okay. So now going back into InShot. What you want to do is go into video and I'm just going to pick out a random video here and um, I'm going to select this one. And when you're in here and as you're looking, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into sticker, which is on your little bottom bar here. You're going to go into sticker and you'll see this will be the generic one that pops up, but your own camera roll, you can add and import stickers as you'd like. So you can see I actually have a black bar and a white bar already uploaded, but to get your white bar in there, just go choose from camera roll and then you'll import it. But for, the, for our purposes, I'm just going to attach the sticker here so that you can see what I'm working with, okay? So you start there, you click the little checkbox, and now this little sticker is embedded in my video, okay? So I'm gonna click the little check mark again um, once I'm ready. However, what you'll see is that this only goes as long as you have it uh, available. So you wanna make sure first and foremost that it goes for the entire length of your video. So I've got just under a minute video here. I'm gonna extend it just a little bit beyond and make sure that it's prominent and present the whole time. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna increase the size of this so that it takes up the, bot, the base bar of my screen, okay? So I need to make sure that this covers at least side to side the entire thing. So then what I do is I, lay that in the bottom and you can create words as large or as small as you'd like depending on your audience okay so now i'm going to click my checkbox to get me out of the little sticker section so the other thing you'll see and you can play along with it here the canvas you can change this it's currently on a really standard instagram setup you can change it for igtv you can change it for youtube however what uh what i'm going to show you is just with no frame um, or excuse me, I'm just gonna show you the regular Instagram one, which has this little shading and background on the side. But what you do is then you listen to your video. I'm not actually certain if this is gonna play, but you just listen to the words. What's up everybody, Andy here. So it started off, what's up everybody, Andy here. That's a great face to pause on as well. So I know that my video starts with what's up Andy here. So I click on text, right? So. My text, it's gonna start out, what's up? Andy here. I think I heard that right. So I know that I'm using a white background. I'm gonna change this font just to, uh, just to make it more of a basic one um, so that we can, we can all see kind of what's going on. And I'll need to change the background to black because I have a white background, okay? Um, I want to re remove my border, so it's just going to say, what's up, Andy, here. So then I have my, my first placement, and all I'm going to do, I just want to make sure that I'm dragging and uh, situating this centered every time, and this is going to allow me to create text throughout the course of my video. So then all I need to do is you just need to listen to your video and just play with it and see the specs and see how the flow of the video can go. Now, if you double tap on your text, 
you can update it so that, and if you see this little bar here that's going back and forth, you can introduce your text however you'd like. So if you'd like to roll it in, um, I actually like to use this kind of roller one and slow down the time that it rolls so it kind of produces as I'm speaking. So you can see now this is gonna come in from the left and go to the right. And then you can also set your outro accordingly as well. I'd probably just let it disappear so that you can kick right into your next statement, okay? Um, so once you click, or, or actually just click it out so it doesn't do anything. So then what you're gonna see is hopefully it, this is gonna roll into my sentence right here. What's up everybody, Andy here. Oh, uh I said what's up everybody. So I'm just gonna update this to everybody. This is why you see it's a little bit painstaking. But now I just need to make sure that my text is not too large. So I'm gonna shrink it up. And then you don't wanna change the size of your text from the first text that you lay out. So just make sure that it stays the same and stays consistent from start to finish. So then I'm gonna put this back in here, make sure that it lines up centered. What's up everybody, Andy here. We've got that, so let's try that again. What's up everybody, Andy here. And then I'm just gonna play with the slider here to start and stop that as needed. So I know that that's where my next sentence is gonna kick in, right? So now this will disappear once I've said Andy here. What's up everybody, Andy here. Uh... And then you just keep adding new text and you keep adding the phrases as they're coming in. So that's a quick little rundown. You can start playing with it and start adding and um, you know finagling your own text, but I just wanted everyone to have kind of a quick little tutorial, show you how cool InShot can be. There's a ton more capabilities. If you have any questions, just reach out to me and I'm happy to answer them. I've been using InShot for about six months now, so I'm pretty well versed in it. But other than that, just go be uncomfortable, go try something new, and don't be afraid to just throw some content out there and see what sticks. Keep staying healthy out there. Stay strong, everybody. And uh, let me know if anything pops up. I'm here for you.